All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to deep dive into Linux permissions, but not the normal permissions like the read, write, execute. We are not going to deal with that. We are going to deal with the Linux special permissions, the set UID, set GID, and the sticky bits. This is like one of the favorite questions of many interviewers when they are interviewing for any position, be it SRE, DevOps, Linux system administrator. So this is one question which features a lot so i mean permissions if we know it's like who can do what right but what is suid and sgid and what is so special about them so let's talk about suid first so suid actually lets you execute a file as the owner of the file so the best example for suid is the passwd command so if i just do an ls hyphen l on user bin past wt so you can see that over here there is an s in the permissions right so what this means that anybody who is executing this pass wd command will have the power of the root user will execute this file as a root user and that is the reason you are able to actually modify your password using passwd command because if you see uh, the permissions for uh, etc passwd file so you can see no other user has the right permission right the group and the others have don't have the right permission so only the user which is root has the right permission and that is why because you are executing this command as root you are able to modify this etc passwd and modify your password so that's a very good example uh, for etc passwd now how do you set an suid on any file so <coughs> let me clear the screen and i'll just create an example file right so there are multiple ways so the first way is obviously you will have to use chmod and you can do u plus s example file and you can set this and now if you do ls hyphen lrt you can see oh god what is this we have a capital s and not the small s so what is this what's the difference between a capital s and a small s so capital s represents that the file which which we where we are setting the suid does not have execute permission and we can see that this file does not have an execute permission so if you want to fix this you can just simply go to mod plus x an example file and now if you do ls hyphen lrt you can see it has gone back to small s like all right so this is one way and then there is a numerical notation also that which way you can fix so let's just touch another example and now if I could do chmod so again suid sgid and uh, sticky bit the total of the numerical total of these uh, permissions is 7 so suid is 4 sgid is 2 and sticky bit is 1 right so if you do 4 and if I want to say 6 or 755 for another example now if i do ls hyphen lrt you can see we have suid all right set for the another another example file all right let me clear the screen and let me just get rid of these files because example file and another example now coming back to coming to sgid so sgid is same as suid but for the group so that means you have an execute permission on the file or the directory but as the owner group right not the user but the group because this is sgid uh, a good example for this is ls hyphen ld if i do var mail so this directory you can see has an sgid set so anybody who is actually going to execute something within this directory will get the permissions of the mail group because this is this is the user and this is the group so you will have access to this directory as the mail group right 
and any file you create under the var mail will also get the ownership of the sgid and not the user who's executing the group so this is a little confusing but suppose you are a user and you have the group suppose you are a part of the group or your group is a your name because when you create a user you create a group also with your name right but if you create any file within var mail that file will not get that group but instead it will get this group the mail group right and i can prove that also so if i touch var mail and i say my mail and if i just do ls hyphen lrt on var mail so you can see my mail has the group mail and not my group right it's not my group okay all right so let me clear the screen and now let's come to sticky bits so sticky bits are they are unlike uh, suid and sgid no before coming to sticky bits i have to show you how you set suid and sgid it's the same way so chmod instead of u plus s you can you have to do g plus s and then you have to give the directory name and if you want numerical method so chmod it will be 2 and then you have permissions and the directory or the file name directory or file right uh, one thing to note that suid is a file level permission so you cannot set suid on a directory but sgid and sticky bits you can set on a directory so this is another important interview question all right coming to sticky bits so like i said uh, sticky bits are a little different from suid and sgid so let me first do ls hyphen ld on slash temp and you can see a t at the end of the permission so what sticky bit does is it lets user create files right in the temp but you cannot delete a file of any other user right so that's that's what because sticky bit is set on uh, the temp directory so only the root user or the owner of the file or the owner of the group can delete that file and no other user can delete that file right so because temp is like a shared directory uh, all the users on the systems can create or put files in temp so you you just cannot go and delete uh, the files created by other users so that's what sticky bit does again to set up sticky bit and again uh, if if this directory does not have an execute permission uh, you would see a capital t right so and sticky bit is again a directory and a file level permission so it's not like that you cannot put sticky bit on file or directory you can put it on both but suid is the only thing which can you can put on a file and not on a directory all right and let's see how you uh, put uh, at a basically how you set uh, sticky bits so let me just create example file and i'll just do chmod so it will be o plus t example file so this would have a capital t because this file does not have any execute permission right and if i want to do numerical method to set sticky bit so i would just touch another example and chmod 1755 and this has a small t because this has an execute permission all right Okay so that's all I wanted to cover for this video I hope you guys found this video interesting and useful and you learned something new today and yeah please do subscribe to the channel before leaving I see a lot of guys watching my videos but not subscribing so please do that thank you for watching yeah